Well, I mean, I've always been very worried about climate change, but seeing it affect places I know and have spent a lot of time in um, was it impacted me a lot. Sea level rise is a really important issue as we live here in South Florida and we're surrounded by beautiful water and amazing beaches. There are entire areas in the United States and around the world that uh, are going to have problems as the sea level rises. If you have never experienced virtual reality, this is by far one of the most impressive experiences that you can see. My name is John Rennie. I'm a professor of urban and regional planning and the director of the Center for Urban Environmental Solutions at Florida Atlantic University. We have been working with the city of West Palm Beach on a very exciting project using virtual reality to model sea level rise. Hi, my name is Serena Herman. I serve as assistant director of the Center for Urban and Environmental Solutions at Florida Atlantic University. We began this project in 2021 with funding from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development administered by the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity. I was able to lead the engagement on this project and the exciting thing was that we had our students out with us in the community interacting with residents on sea level rise impacts and solutions. We went out to a number of events over the course of the last year and we allow folks to be randomized into two groups. One group has a virtual reality headset that they watch, a video that we created with our partners at Virtual Planet Technologies. The other group was given an iPad, and that video takes folks through a scenario of what sea level rise, and storm surge could look like for Osprey Park here along the intercoastal in West Palm Beach. I participated in the FAU virtual reality sea level rise experience at the Norton Museum. It was a super cool and also challenging experience. It's kind of frightening to see what the potential damage could be over time, but I'm excited to see the thoughtful process of the university as well as the city of West Palm Beach planning for the future. So when you put these glasses on and you look around, you feel as if you're standing in the park and you are looking at that park transition from a normal situation like today where there is no water in the park to a scenario where the park gets completely inundated with water. I can't, I, I stood up out of my chair, I got a better view, I looked at the boats in the back and the houses and I was moving quite a bit, so I was incredibly affected by what I saw. These are based on scientific calculations, working with engineers to look at how much sea level rise could be possible within the next century, and also how much storm surge could happen if we were to experience a major hurricane. I thought the, the, uh, th the virtual reality um, presentation got its point across and I was able to follow it. I loved it. It was fascinating and the fact that it was 3D and no matter what direction you looked and you felt that you were in the moment. We allow folks the ability to participate in the experience by looking at different adaptation solutions. One solution is to build a taller seawall along the edge of the intercoastal along the park in Osprey Park. We create another scenario where we build new land, new islands that we've already done here in West Palm Beach. 
The islands are part of a longer term strategy to promote coastal resilience to buffer against storm surge and sea level rise flooding. In fact, what we did was we utilized Peanut Island over here as, as a model of what that could even look like. So this would be like creating a new type of a Peanut Island to be able to help with long-term sea level rise and flooding. I went through the VR experience today and found it really interesting to see what the real impact would be if indeed there was sea level rise. So I found it lightning because you kind of imagine in your mind's eye what that will look like, but to actually see it is fairly dramatic for sure. The goal for the project is to be able to have a tool that planners and elected officials and community leaders can engage with their community residents. I'm Keith James, Mayor of West Palm Beach, Florida. Well, I had never experienced VR uh, before, and I was surprised at how realistic uh, it was and then how visceral my reaction would be. Well, I think this is an alternative way of communicating uh, with the public. Uh, some people more visual uh, than others, and I think as they go through that experience, it just gives them an alternative a perspective on whatever the proposal is that, that might be before them. Well, I think city leaders, once they experience uh, virtual reality and the issues presented, uh, it will leave a lasting memory as to what the impact of sea level rise would be. It's just another tool in our toolbox. The more levels of government and the more levels of people and groups and organizations, be it public or private, that come together, the better the effectiveness of the projected outcome. If the uh, people in charge, and the, like the mayors of the different cities, will follow this and, and um, if you can get everybody on board, I think it, there can be some good prevention to, to help this so that we don't uh, have the flooding and we can prevent it in the future. Our communities, our economy, and lives depend on action today from our city and state policymakers to take this opportunity to protect our city and everything that's beautiful about it within our economy and our environment seriously. Hi, my name is Christopher Rugg, Executive Director of the West Palm Beach Community Redevelopment Agency. It's so important to really understand how the community feels about many of the policies and projects that cities implement, and that starts with the planning process. So this tool gives a great way for city officials to communicate with those residents and tell them what we're thinking about um, based on data and then get the feedback from those residents to understand if it's something that they support. A lot of times it takes um, and it starts with a vision and that vision is built with the community. It really took the language out of it and really emphasized through a visual standpoint the importance of what we're trying to achieve um, across all walks of life. It didn't matter your age, um, your language, your background, you could understand what we were trying to do through this experience. Um, a lot of times people feel overwhelmed by something like sea level rise or climate change. And when you were able to actually show a real strategy of how it could be mitigated, I think it gave people a little uh, sigh of relief. But just knowing that planning professionals and folks in local government are thinking about these challenging issues and how to solve them, I think was truly a big benefit that gave people um, a sense of legitimacy in their local governments that um, perhaps wouldn't have happened without it. The experience was fascinating and a bit scary. The reality of it was scary. Because climate change is a reality, it is affecting our planet, it is going to affect how each one of us lives, and I take it very seriously because um, I hope young people don't have to live a nightmare, and I hope that they can have a safe lifetime. Really like seeing the possible changes that you can make. Um, I hope that we can make the change. I am optimistic. Uh, things that don't appear obvious now may appear obvious or come, come to fruition in the future. Hi, I'm Penny Redford. I'm the Climate Change and Resilience Manager for the City of West Palm Beach. 
The West Palm Beach Office of uh, Sustainability has been around since 2008. We've been a leader really in not just our community but across the country in preparing, educating and taking actions for climate change. This is going to help people realize that even though we may not be seeing the most severe climate impacts right now. We have to prepare for them and we have to we have to do things, take action now so that maybe those impacts will be lessened. I think a lot of the residents were just blown away by, oh my goodness, they never realized it could be that impactful. So just it, it was like the whole package, the, the whole picture comes to life when you have a VR experience. It's something that hits us at home, uh, living on the intracoastal, living on the waterfront. Uh, we saw what happened in Fort Myers and, and it could have just have been easily been us. So it's something we need to think about uh, because the next time we may not be so lucky. So it's, it's great to see that our local community is stepping up and addressing the issue and uh, not kicking the can down the road. The images that are depicted on our screens in virtual reality, in this immersion, are not future events. They are already events that the people of Florida in the city of Naples and Fort Myers have already experienced with one hurricane. And the millions and actually billions of dollars of catastrophic damage have already occurred. And the city of West Palm Beach is one category four, category five storm away from the same kind of catastrophic damage. It is no longer time for talk. It is no longer time for studies. The data is there. It is time for action. One of the key findings of this study was that the participants who immersed themselves in VR were much more willing to engage in sea level rise adaptation solutions. We believe this is because the experience was so real looking at it in a VR experience that it created a more visceral reaction amongst the participants. They ended up caring more about solving the problem because they were immersed inside of the problem. The technology allows us to work with the community to get their input in a meaningful way about what solutions could be built and implemented. I'm optimistic that we can address and potentially solve this issue uh, as long as we come together uh, and not make this a political issue that we all realize that we're in this together, that it crosses all communities, impacts everybody equally, and we step up in a united front and address the fact that this is a real issue. The talent that is happening locally here at FAU, at the campus that is local to West Palm, to Boca, to Jupiter, is unmatched across this city. You should see it for yourself in real time and understand that this community needs more research like this. We think that this technology has tremendous potential, not just here in West Palm Beach, but around the state and around the country and even globally.